We're in Washington, D.C. for the Security Development Conference 2012. My name is Tim Raines. I'm a director in trustworthy computing at Microsoft. We're joined by Cisco and Adobe and a lot of other great companies and organizations, governments here in Washington, D.C. to talk about secure development. We've had a chance to talk to a lot of people while we're here. Let's go meet some of them now. So I think the key value of a conference like this is the collaboration among the attendees and the, and the sharing among the attendees. Uh, organizations are seeking to adopt secure development practices, and I think that even understanding that there are a lot of companies and, and government organizations that are moving to adopt secure development practices helps to encourage folks, helps them to understand how to succeed. When we started the security development lifecycle, we had a long discussion about how much of this effort should be made public. And what we came to recognize is that security is really an ecosystem problem. And so it was great that Microsoft had embraced the SDL and we were driving down the vulnerabilities in our code. But if you want to make all users safer, no matter what system they're using and what applications they're running, it's important that the entire industry embrace secure development. And this conference was an opportunity to share what we've been doing and really evangelize the importance and value of secure coding. No, I think the Security Development Conference uh, is a chance for people to compare notes, people in the software development companies and people in the critical infrastructures. Uh, to compare notes about how the SDL process uh, works in their company uh, and how uh, maybe it can be imp improved, how maybe it can be best used. And very frequently, uh, what's discussed at conferences like this is, how do I persuade my bosses uh, that we should be really using the SDL process on everything? You know, bringing in Michael Hayden I thought was particularly interesting because, you know, here you've got a guy that was at the center of the U.S. intelligence community, you know, kind of openly discussing what he sees as kind of the new threats, the new ways we'll deal with it, and really intersecting that with the politics of this, which, you know, we, we can't underestimate. We've been seized to the issue of cybersecurity. So meetings like this reflect the growing concern that we're seeing on that topic, but they, but they also are, are a way that we generate that concern, that we, that we move ideas forward so that we're not stagnant and that we actually are addressing something rather than simply sitting back and what I would call admiring the problem. For me, what I'm excited about for this conference is that it's actually the practitioners who are here. And so we don't have the researchers or the vendors necessarily, but it's really the folks who have the responsibility for getting secure code out the door in their environments. And when you get the people who have all the same jobs together, uh, you get so much creative energy talking together about what we're having trouble with or what our challenge is and how someone else solved it in their environment. And, and bringing that group together who has such a similar set of job functions I think is really useful. Well, I don't think it's a secret that, you know, when, when you're a corporation and you have good security, your customers benefit from that. But I think the more fundamental issue is just that everyone has the same problems, but security is one of those things people don't like to talk about. You know, no one wants to stand up and say, oh, I have security problems in my products. But everyone does. You know, it's one of those sort of things. And I think, you know, taking a venue like this where, you know, we're all stuck in the same life raft, that it, it opens people up a little bit. And we're not quite as afraid to, you know, discuss with one another some of the challenges we have, some of the problems we see. I think the size of the conference is good. You can see people a lot in between the tracks. I've run into the same people now a couple, you know, already a couple times. And, you know, you're like sort of conference buddies. And so, so that's nice. I think a conference like this um, allows engineers um, and developers to focus on their side of the equation uh, which, which basically means protecting their applications from attack not just deploying network defenses. The security of our software depends not only on Microsoft though it also depends on the software that runs on our platform and so it's important for us to go share that development methodology that we've uh, that we've worked on and the tools that we've created with the rest of industry so that the entire platform and the entire customer experience can be secure. We've done a lot of great work at the conference this week here in Washington, D.C. Thanks for joining us. 
For Microsoft, I'm Tim Raines.